So, good afternoon, my very good friends. A short update of the markets. In about 45 minutes, we're going to see the new PPI data. As you see, all <laughs> my indicators, nearly all of them are now in red. Uh, today, I'm making uh, trading four markets exclusively. So we have also positions in many other markets, but the most of them are in uh, midterm or uh, longer term trends as a trend follower as I am, but also we're taking advantage in day trading. And if I trade day trading, there are specific markets. Um, my favorite one of them is of course, Bitcoin, then NASDAQ, Nasdaq, for example, and uh, gold, you can trade mainly in trends, even Bitcoin, of course, nearly every market, but especially because of crazy fundamental data since more than two years now, uh, we are taking benefits of trend following, but on the same time, day trading maybe, uh, meaning that let's say if you are in a trend right you have been buying your position somewhere here and you are a trend follower right like bitcoin for example did uh, and currently we are somewhere here in bitcoin then you have been buying here why not to take all the advantages if you see the market coming down of course for you as bitcoin holder or investor it's um a punch in the stomach but my point of view is while you stay in the trend of course you can also go here short positions open short positions to take profit to buy again let the trend go then for example at this specific point to take advantages and if i'm saying advantages i'm not just talking about 10 or 20 pips we are talking here sometimes about more three to four five thousand pips in one day especially in bitcoin that's a big market and also in nasdaq and mainly in gold in gold for example we have now a situation as gold typically is a slow market then there are cycles of the market that is driving gold higher than gold stocking then in a consolidation phase and if you remember i said in one of my last videos more than 70 percent of time the markets are in consolidation right 70 percent of time 70 percent of time and just 30 percent of that move is in trend meaning that we have a probability of after a tr move of the market, let's say Bitcoin, for example, made the all-time highs, right? And then that was 15% of time, right? That the market is uptrending. And then we come then again to that 70% time probability. And that's in nearly every market. In some markets more, you're 90% of time in consolidation. So. Of course, for a trend follower or investor, that's very terrible. Why 15% uptrend? Because of the probability, right? Let's say we are at 70,276 and we have just um, around 15% probability that the market goes higher, but 15% probability that the market breaks this range and that we come into a main bearish trend. And if we are in a bearish trend again, we have ups, downs, ups, downs. This is the 15% and then somewhere the market stops and range trading. And then again, 15% probability that we go up, 15% down. So, and that's exactly my point of view. If we are doing something where we know the market Mm, will be targeted in 70% of time, 
why not to gain advantages of it, right? Like here, for example, here the bulls have their funds, the bears, bulls, bears, and the bears exactly know once the market breaks up, it doesn't matter how long it goes, they go with the market, also the bears, because day trading works almost in ranges. The best results for day traders are in ranges. And a very good uh, day trader knows, let's say the Bitcoin breaks you up above 73K and goes, you can say to 200K, whatever. What do they do? Do they sit out? Of course not. This time they go with the trend. This is the case where the bears and the bulls are the same opinions. Being a bearish trader does not mean that he doesn't want to make money. Of course he wants. And he's making very good money also in bullish times. They go with the bulls and then once the trade gains of his 70% probability, what do the bears do? Now they do what they really can do. They sell the market, right? Take profit, they wait, sell the market, sell the market, and if the market breaks the support and comes back, they sell much more heavily because now that's the nature they wanna trend be down. The same do the bulls, right? Somewhere here, they go a good bullish trader also takes big money if the market is going down and then they start to buy the dips and then sell higher but the advantage is of course much more if a resistance will be broken so they will then drive the price as much higher as they can that's the nature so the real good trader does it it doesn't matter if, if what condition the market is they use the probability for themselves right we see here that for the first time gold has been building very big broadening patterns meaning as we know all times highs has been reached and the number of broadening patterns are increasing it can be a very warning sign for the bulls and that some are selling now massively again the gold or the gold positions to get down last not least it has a good reason after the very strong cpi of yesterday the market made a new cpi based news low and did not hold that retrace came back to its old value not only in bitcoin but also in gold because they knew that today the second big number will be released and this is ppi this is the big brother of the pp uh, the cpi and the producer price index and also the unemployment rate so latestly after yesterday's data the market participants the traders now have a probability that the fed will not raise the in uh, the and uh, will not cut the interest rates uh, with a probability of more than 90 percent right there is only less than 10 percent chance that in june a rate cut will happen and after after june the fed will pause then somewhere around september so this is the reason that the market is scared. We see in the main markets like gold, NASDAQ, S&P, uh, Bitcoin, and Uran oil, especially after the tensions between Iran and uh, Israel. Uh, typically, if there have been something very seriously, then the crude oil price must skyrocket to above 100 to 300 dollars what's happening uh, these tensions are happening iran is threatening israel we will attack you because they got attacked by the israelis 
uh, the embassy of Iran in Damascus, I think, was attacked, uh, whatever. Uh, and now a lot of people are scared, but I am shorting oil because oil price is coming down. So to me personally, I interpreting this. This is just some media hype again. Of course, both countries have a lot of very good diplomats and they are negotiating with the help of Europeans of the United States. And that's the reason the oil price is coming down, especially old gold gold and what a friend told me also bitcoin i didn't know that so i'm going not to mention that that especially iranians are trading a lot of bitcoin and they are paying their business deals right with uh, foreign countries and that's the reason that mm, maybe they are selling now bitcoin to buy for example materials goods what they will need in case they get attacked by other country and uh, for uh, military defense and so on or also some other negotiations so we didn't uh, we don't we don't get too deep in that but the fact was something new to me so he gave me some documents and uh, also, I know him since many years, very uh, considerate person. So the explanations were very logic, right? And um, interesting was that about three or four years ago, I was reading an article that Iran is now, is at that time, or was at that time, building very big Bitcoin mines and farms and he told me that they are going to progress it uh, somewhere in the uh, center of Iran. Uh, that's a big uh, Sahara, I think, and they will then build all that uh, technological stuff they need for Bitcoin mines, whatever. Okay, we will see. Today to the market, uh, I will finish, finish this uh, video with Bitcoin. And we see here in Bitcoin that yesterday afternoon as the CPI data uh, came out, the Bitcoin went down, made a very big low. And I was then posting a chart in the chat, Bitcoin chat, that uh, because somewhere scared about the short positions and i told them that we will might go first of all this way and then come down if not we will go a little bit higher come down and that be something around that why this second possibility was more certain because we if the price ticked in the value area of the previous uh, of, of its own day right here it left already the day range of yesterday but it came back to the day range again so the probability that it will close stay there and possibly go to the highs of yesterday was higher in this case we made we broke the high of yesterday but we still are below the two three four and five day range and therefore if the numbers for B, uh, for ppi today are very strong very bearish then the market will go down to the low of yesterday at this level break that and we will go then deeper if the number is among estimates, <coughs> then it would be possible that Bitcoin, this is the first uh, possibility, uh, every time the news come out, we have, I told you, a probability, probability of 15%, right? And I told us in the chat, be careful, and if I'm sending a message i mean both 
bullish and bull uh, bearish traders especially day traders because if you are a trend follower it doesn't affect your positions too much <coughs> but typically if the news are released we will have a very big drop or a very big high right i never trade this first move why because the traders who cause this move are everything but nothing than algos right algos algorithms so and as these algos are extremely fast therefore in time frames less than 30 seconds for example uh tick traders in one two three four five sec second charts they get trapped very very often right even in time frames up to one or three minutes uh, sometimes the power of the market is so big that we see the moves later and therefore i wait the algos because the algos typically make our scalping traders or algorithm scalping boats they drive the market to a certain level take profit and then they drive the market back in that direction it should go let's say the news of today are extremely bullish right what will happen good news for bitcoin everybody goes long but something happens the market comes down stops and hits the stops the traders now very scared and shocked they go short and then the market starts to consolidate they will interpret it as a correction and the market drops higher 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 and before the trader knows what happened he is sitting now on a very very higher position so and of course the opposite is also true let's say the news of today this is bitcoin the news is bearish the first scenario is the market drops higher now the bearish tra the traders are trapped they go long and the market falls much more deeper right so and the third scenario is as we have the situation like here so i make it a little bit bigger as we have the situation like here very bearish the market drops down we wait it comes a little bit higher maybe very high volatility and then drops much more deeper right therefore also today bulls and bears will have their odds but be careful after news release the first move belongs always and only to the algos let the algos make their money then they don't harm you and if you have your positions anyway stick to your trading plan that's all right have the algos limits or power to affect long-term or mid-term positions absolutely not the region the kingdom for algos is always on very very low time frame tick charts uh, one two three four five second charts and so on but the higher the bigger the time frames are to trade the less the powers of algos right we see for example here the volatilities are caused we can for example find the algos also here we see that the market is going up then suddenly the algos go up scalp the market it comes down then we create then the broadening patterns now the market structure is broken because we are making then we made um, higher highs but also low lows some people then um, interrupt their own trades they go short and the market goes higher the same here the market goes higher 
they start to buy massively here. The market struggles here, coming down, and we see what later happened. The people who were then uh, buying, for example, here, right? Let's say they have been buying here. If we extend that line, we see now the break even possibly has been reached. And you should be very, very careful, especially now as uh, in about 20 minutes, the PPI data will come up. So therefore, I told everyone uh, in the chat, you can read it also. If you have some stops, immediately drop your stops to your uh, break even if possible with some profit, if not a minimum break even and put also guaranteed stops. Better if you see that this trade, maybe you are bullish, has not been working for you, better take it out, right? Wait until the data come out, then wait that the volatility is becoming less, make your point and then you can go long, right? Or if you like, then you can go short, right? Many traders are doing that because you are not missing anything, right? I mean, if you have been here in this trade, but you have been missing to take that profit, the market is coming down, okay, you missed the situation, but the odds to make the profit at this moment is nearly equal to zero, as the, you see the market stands here, where your long positions are, right? If you are short, for example, right, you see here, then immediately take your stops, place it somewhere here or here, I don't know, better take the profit, right? Because if the data are bullish, the market runs against you, then you have given back all those profits. I don't know how many hours now you're sitting on your trades for some hours for nothing, right? And the case can also happen if you are in profit and you don't make healthy money management and risk management, even that your profits are here and the data is very big. And I told you in the video last time, then the market can open here, goes here, meaning suddenly your um, trailed stop or uh, let's say your take profit limit you have put here, right? You have been in profit and suddenly your account is a minus, right? Meaning because the market opened above you, it building a very, very big gap. So you immediately turn from the profit into big loss here, right? And before you react, then the market goes higher, then your losses becoming bigger and bigger and I know a lot of traders hesitate to cut losses because they are not trained so good. They are trained, they, are, they, are, they know a lot of patterns, right? And they have fantastic, perfect entries, but they are not trained of cutting the losses, right? They, they have no training, they have no education, uh, everybody's talking about take profit, take profit, and I am very sure they're really good at it, right? But I am very sure too that 99% of traders have no education how to deal if they are in very big trouble. And that's what I'm talking about, guys, right? Trading is not about take profit. If you make risk management, you are disciplined, the profit comes along, right? Sooner or later. But if you have big problems, big profits and the trades work good for you, and only one or two situation that will cause very, very big troubles, then I'm sure you will get shocked. And that shock will, your brain in that moment cannot react as fast as, as it should, okay? That's something based on my own experiences I did many years ago. And I remember that shocks 
uh, I experienced and therefore I started at that time now for many many years ago to train only and also today I am simulating every day uh, or nearly four or five times a week stress test how do I react if the account statement would be for example this or that if all my positions at the same time drop right how do I manage them how will I close what will happen if the order cannot be executed at the same time and so on and then I am uh, also at the same time looking in these situations while I am making these simulations how my heartbeat rate is changing right and I am training that because it doesn't matter how bad a situation is it won't help you to go with that shock in the future it just helps to take a deep breath to stay calm right because if you are in a losing position you are in a losing position nothing else can help you but if you are in a losing position and stress is rising and rising and your heartbeat to 200 300 whatever well i tell you it is not good feeling and the disaster can be only bigger and bigger okay so i hope i could help you today because in some minutes then we are going then for ppi data and let's see what happens right as i told you both will have the chances and still now many are able both bulls and the birds to finish this day just right now with profit to take the profit and then after data you will see how the market will react maybe we will have a consolidation also until tomorrow the next news will be released if you so so you haven't been missing anything you have taken your profit whether you're bullish or bearish it doesn't matter if you are in a small sh loss then take that loss right it's better to take that loss than letting that loss becoming bigger big, bigger and bigger and very very big so big that you will not be able to take the next trade because you have been waiting so much and the trade comes but you have not enough money for that all right and that's very very sad and angry situation all right i wish you having a good day after the markets i try if there is something unusual to make a new update well the trade plan is still below on my trading uh, so we see here ah, okay the gold is dropping so I put alert that's nice I will look at later so the trade plan is here for ethereum for gold Nasdaq and uh, Bitcoin of course so how do you reach that you click on my on the link below this video then the, you, you look for this uh, Bitcoin uh, chart don't get scared if you are bullish because I made the trade plan for both for bulls and the bears and you are very very welcome both of you it doesn't matter if you are bullish or bearish or Bitcoin holder or uh, forever short seller both are very welcome to take advantage of this trade plan have a good day have a good successful day have a lot of fun with trading and I see you in couple of hours